Yo, nah, uh. If a brick hit you, say ouch. Mom the e bear. She say she a dumpster dollar. No, nah, mama, I don't need no clothes. I got a bunch of shit. I got stuff I'm trying to sell, get away. I got somebody that I need to come over here and go through. I got a lot of uh, retro clothes, they call it. You know, from back in the day, shirts, uh, sneakers, shoes, everything. I got the whole Kingdom uniform to what uh, Jay-Z, Shout out to King Dome. If there was anything in the world Wendy Williams might be lacking, it's most definitely a strong opinion. I mean, it checks out, considering she literally came up with the statement, say it like you mean it, and in her most recent appearance in the media, that's exactly what she did. The talk show host come novelist spoke about some of her views on how hip-hop culture and homosexuality mix, and in the process, she made sure to touch on the subject of Diddy's sexuality. This is where it begins, so I'd stay the course of the video if I were you. The more successful I got and and we believed in each other, the more of a jerk he became. According to the details of the news that has now turned social media upside down, it appears our favorite show host might be in possession of a photograph that features two men butt naked, with one of them pulling the other one's panties down. The fun part to this is that word on the street says Diddy just might be one of those men. Naturally, you'd only expect that these types of accusations should come with some weight. That's where Diddy's former bodyguard comes in, as he provided solid proof to support the claims by Wendy Williams, who is known for speaking truth backed by strong evidence. Here's the latest. Jaguar Wright is reportedly revealing alleged scandals involving big names in music, such as Diddy and Alicia Keys. Despite pushback from some, the Philadelphia native continues to target new artists daily. Most remain silent, but in Diddy's case, seems Wright may have received support from Gene Deal, the rapper's former bodyguard. Faced with several charges from Wright, Deal addressed most of them and even provided hard evidence for some of them. In his words, people always sending me stuff, man. They sent me this stuff on Jaguar, right? I salute you, goddess. A lot of stuff you talking is real. Additionally, Gene Deal shed more light on Diddy's rumored homosexuality, claiming he recalls seeing Puff in a bar in Philadelphia years ago, instructing R&B musician Music Soulchild to take off his turban. Deal expressed appreciation for Wright's efforts before addressing her claim that he was being paid for silence. He then returned his focus to the current situation. Here's what I meant when I said Deal addressed the accusations coming from Wright about some of the secret moves his former boss had made under the table. He said, Baby girl, listen to me. Ain't nobody paid Big Gene off. Ain't nobody ran Big Gene off. It's not happening. Never ran and never wills. Never have. From nobody or no man. Sweetheart, you're wrong about that. So, I've heard you say that twice. Somebody said that to me twice, so I'm just letting you know. Baby girl, I don't know you personally. Do you understand? But I respect what you do, but you are wrong when you tell. Unless it's another bodyguard. It ain't big, Jim. He has a lot of experiences with Mary, Faith, the whole bad boy team, that whole era back then. All right, so drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. On my uh, YouTube, I got my number right there. People call me, 201-969-6168. Uh, <laughs> Shit, that's, that's my number I got for the people who want to talk to Big Gene. Not at all, never running, never have. None of these clowns out here. You understand what I'm saying, Mom? So I really appreciate what you do. It's a sad day, you know, because people got mad at me when I told people that I was in Justin's with Mary and we was talking about life shit and how she was in the industry and everything like that. And she said, yo, and I was with, and I, I, I know what you're talking about. You might be speaking about somebody else. You're not speaking about Big Gene. In response to the allegations, Deal addressed them and seemed to confirm some of Wright and Wendy's claims. He stated that he had observed many things during his time with his former employer, which prompted him to turn to prayer and quote scripture. The former bodyguard then went on to name drop another artist, Mary J. Blige, who Jaguar had also levied a couple of accusations against. Before the whole Diddy story, Wright mentioned that the singer had been keeping her taste in women a secret for several years and even went as far as challenging her to a versus duel. Summer Walker, on the other hand, spoke out against Wright, but her criticisms were not enough to stop Wright in her tracks from going after other entertainers. Wright has publicly challenged Mary J. Blige, the queen of hip-hop soul, to a versus match and called her out for hiding her sexuality for years on Instagram. And despite all the opposition, Wright has continued to target other entertainers. Jaguar, for her part, had this to say about Mary, I can produce my own songs. I can sit down with a competent Knicks engineer and walk all the way through a mix. I can do those things, Mary, can you? 
What can you do, Mary, other than playing dress up and eating snatch in dark places hoping nobody finds out? And if I'm lying, sue me, Mary. In a separate video, Gene Deal added fuel to the fire regarding Wright's accusations against Diddy. He discussed Diddy's rumored homosexuality and referred to his sexually fluid identity multiple times throughout the video. Deal also claimed that Diddy had taken exhibit to a gay bar and suggested watching the bad boy CEO engage with other men as a personal mission. These statements appear to support Wright's charges against Diddy. In the interview, Gene went on to say, I know that for a fact because I was right there. He said, Yo, Gene, watch the door that doesn't let nobody come through. I said I'll watch the door and if I watch the door, he and a man ran out naked and I said that ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. I'm telling you what I saw. Gay this dude this extravagant birthday party and I don't know if it was Superhead, I think it was Superhead or it was some chick that Slam brought to him while Jennifer was upstairs and he said, yo Gene, watch the door, don't let nobody come through here and I said I watched the door. If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. I'm telling you what I saw myself. Gene alleges in a concerning interview that he accompanied Diddy to an exotic bookstore in the early 2000s while working for the music mogul. He also claims that while at the store, Diddy bought a bag of SX toys for his kids. This interview appears to add to the growing list of allegations against Diddy, particularly because the rapper apparently purchased more than a few but PLGS. The story takes an even wilder turn here, as Gene claims that Diddy took the toys with him to a performance in North Carolina, as reported by Media Takeout. He alleges that upon arriving at the hotel, Diddy informed him of his intention to visit Ja Rule at his residence, which surprised Gene. He attempted to stop Diddy from making an unannounced visit, but Diddy was insistent, despite Gene's objections. Upon reaching Jar's apartment, Gene revealed that there were only two men in the entire room. Seeing as this is already pretty unusual, things became even crazier when Jar answered him about why two men had been in the room. He said, You don't want to walk inside the room, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on inside there. But Gene isn't the only one that had crazy stories, as Wendy had a couple of words herself. She said, I'm not down with any of that. It wouldn't be my man. Be very clear, there were lots of homosexuals in the 80s too. What's worse, hip hop wearing skirts or hip hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood and that, you know, and denial is something that you shouldn't have to deny. There were many situations back in the day, in my career and it's all coming full circle now. Now the big question begged is that is Diddy actually into men? While speculation about Diddy's sexuality has circulated for years, he has been involved in several well-known romantic relationships with women, including the late Kim Porter. These relationships have resulted in the birth of multiple children, including Christian Combs, who is pursuing a career in the entertainment industry. And while Diddy seems to be standing strong on his truth that he isn't gay, a lot of his actions over the years have passed a lot of mixed signals. Case in point is a recent music video where the bad boy CEO's lyrics read, Sometimes I'd ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid? To be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved. Divided by, but then I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you could handle it. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. Despite the negative impact of rampant homophobia and hip hop on American culture, the genre has brought many positive things. The pervasive homophobia in hip hop now makes it difficult for anyone to come out. Even someone as influential as Diddy, as even supposedly enlightened rappers like J. Cole have been known to use anti-gay slurs. Some critics argue that this type of behavior has become normalized in the genre. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.